welcome back to my channel um so today i'm going to show you guys how to create this lid uh, this is one of my um quite sluttery glam quite sexy glam kind of thing i went for a bit of curly hair but instead of losing them down i just thought like tie them up just give my look a little bit more um focus so the focus will be on my eyes only because they are pretty old and I'm wearing my favorite lashes uh, uh, second. I'm having one of those days when my lashes are not going on properly and I feel like it's something sticking out but it's not it's pretty annoying <laughs> but anyway if you want to see how to create this look just carry on watching this video and before you leave if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well so next time when i'll post a video you'll get a notification i uh, hope you guys have a lovely day and i shall see you guys next time love you all hello my lovelies so we are going to begin as usual with a bit of a skin skincare and i've just put some aloe vera facial mist on my face and i've also applied some garlan radius concentrate gold 24 karat gold makeup base it's quite nice serum I actually quite like it um, i've done my brows with benefit cabrow in shade number five and to carve my brow bone and just to give a little extra highlight i'm using my mac cosmetics pro Longwear concealer in shade nc40 um, now guys whenever i say shades these are my shades for my skin tone but i will highly recommend you to just make a note of the product um, and uh, um, just go and try to find your own shade because what my shade is might not work for you and I think I missed the Josie Moran's um, Aragon Oil. I've applied that on my face too. For primer, I'm using Touch in Soul No Pore Primer. This is my current favorite right now in primer. So it's super good primer actually. It's really, really good. To cover my under eye area, I'm using Benefit Cosmetics Hydrating Concealer. It's a really, really good concealer if you have a dry skin. Gives you a really nice base. For my foundation, I'm using Makeup Forever Ultra HD Sticks and I'm applying two different shades. Um, the number will be mentioned in the description box below. So the darker shade, I use the outer perimeter of my face and the lighter shade everywhere else. And to blend my foundation, I'm using my Beauty Blender. I've tried using the brush with this particular foundation. I feel like it, the brushes don't work that well um, as Beauty Blender, especially when it comes to the stick foundation. That's just my personal opinion. Maybe I haven't found the right brush yet, but I really like my Beauty Blender to uh, blend any stick foundations. And I'm just taking the foundation on my eyelids too to give a um, first base of my on my eyes for my eye base I'm using my MAC cosmetics paint part in shade soft ochre um, this product so far hasn't changed and I don't think will be changing <laughs> to set my eye base I used RCMA no color translucent powder and for my whole eye look I'm gonna use Anastasia's uh, prism palette and I picked up the shade Eden from the palette which is really nice uh, like a grapefruit shade and I'm using that as, as my transition shade next I'm picking up this shade called Saturn from the palette which is a little bit orange coppery kind of thing and I'm picking up on the a Morphe more precise blending brush and I'm applying that just below my transition and I'm going back and forward with both brushes to make sure it's nice gradient and there are no harsh lines now i'm picking up the really nice shade from the palette i believe it's called orion it's the darkest blue shade from the palette and i'm going to apply this on my outer v um, um on my outer v of the eye and i'm using a bit of a flat shader brush to apply this um i personally did notice something about this particular shade because it is a little bit like 
sparkly so it's best to use on a more like a 217 brush from mac which is more flat and it's more for like easy to apply wet shadows kind of thing and i before i use that brush i even uh, sprayed the brush with nyx cosmetics makeup setting spray and then i applied it it just bring the color pigment a little bit more uh, over here i'm just going back and forwards with all the shades um, i applied in my transition uh, to make sure everything is looking nice and smooth and there are no harsh lines and everything is blending smoothly For a perfect blending you have to keep going back and forward with the brushes otherwise you won't get the the effect or that like 3d effect um and now i'm just carving my um eyelid uh, or just cutting a crease and i'm just using my mac cosmetics pro long wear to do that And I'm using one of the angled brushes. Um, I believe this one is from Luxie. It's just their eyeliner brush and I'm using that. And now I'm going to take a ColourPop flat shaded brush and I'm just applying uh, um, the shade called Lucid from the palette, which is really nice, a whitey shade. And uh, it has like a yellow reflexes, which is really nice. And then I applied that all over. I just cut my crease. Um, well I, I did a half cut crease for this one so there we go and um with the with the flat shaded brush the, it's really easy to go into that little uh, corners and do a really precise smooth finish line it's to show that crease to show you have done a cut crease and now i'm just picking up a clean blending brush and going over everything to make sure everything is looking nice and smooth and no harsh lines no harsh lines no harsh lines uh, and now i'm picking up the dark brown shade from the palette uh, which called uh, parallel and i'm picking that up on a very 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 small tiny incy wincy um, pencil brush and i've just applied that on top of everything to, in, to deepen my crease um, just giving another coat of foundation on my face because I had some fallout and I had to wipe some of the foundation off. So same thing, I just uh, mix both foundations and I'm just blending them with my beauty blender. And uh, I didn't apply it everywhere, I just applied it where I think I need to redo it. For the contour, I've used my Anastasia Contour Stick and this is in shade Fawn. Um, it's a really nice, I, I personally think it's a pretty good shade for Asian skin tones because it's not too orangey, it's not too ashy either. And in the corner of my eyes, I'm using MAC Cosmetics Pro Longwear and everywhere else, I'm using my current favorite um, cos concealer and this is from Zoeir Cosmetics. Um, in shade macadamia to blend everything i'm using one of morphe's stipple brush and um, to blend the concealer i'm going to use my beauty blender um and i'm making sure i i, I currently i started using a smaller beauty blender as well to make sure the inner part of my eye is blended nicely because sometimes it doesn't blend with the big one properly especially after you do, do your eyes um for the to set my concealer i've used studio fix powder from mac cosmetic in shade c 3.5 and to set the contour i'm using the same powder but in shade nc 45 um this this particular shade is extremely good because this gives you contour and the bronze at the same time but to give a little extra definition on my contour i'm using kevin aquan's tropical wheel bronzer and i'm using one of the morphe brushes to do this for lower lash line i've used exactly the same shade as my transition shade and i've applied them on my lower lash line uh, using sigma e40 and uh, the precise um, blending brush from morphe to tight line my um, lower lash line i've used the color parallel uh, i have applied a black eyeliner from nyx in my waterline and l'oreal's pro 
L'Oreal L'Oreal's Voluminize Butterfly Mascara on my eyelashes. For the eyelashes, I've used Huda Beauty Lashes in style uh, Scarlet. And for lip liner, I'm using MAC Cosmetics Lip Liner in shade Strip Down. This is my current favorite right now. Seriously, man, with any nude gloss, this particular lip gloss looks amazing. For the lipstick, I accidentally posted on my Instagram Kiki, Kimmy, but it's not. It's actually Kimberly shade from KKW Beauty, uh, Kim Kardashian's makeup line. And I'm applying this all over my lips um, that's what I mean by the strip down is such a good pencil because it's very ashy brown so it gives you really nice uh, contour on your lips and I've actually overlined my lips for this video so let me know what you guys think about that um, and for highlighter I'm using the Balm Cosmetics highlighter in shade Mary Luminizer and I'm applying this with my Anastasia highlighter brush and I always always spray my brush before I apply my highlighter to give that extra pop and uh, for sorry i didn't have a footage for my blush but i've used garland's blush uh, garland's bronzer plus uh, blush together and that was in shade medium and I'm, I'm using a more precise brush to do my nose highlight um i just do not like too much of anything and to set my face, I'm using my Tatcha Dewy Finish um, se uh, Setting Spray. And hope you guys like this look. If you have any questions, let me know. And I shall see you guys next time. Love you all. Bye.